Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use getters and setters to control access to an object. You can obtain values from an object and set values uh, and set a value of a property within an object. These are classically called getters and setters. Getter functions are meant to simply return get return or get the value of an object's private variable to the user without the user directly accessing the private variable. Setters Setter functions are meant to modify or set the value of an object's private variables based on the value passed into the setter function. This change could involve calculations or even overriding the previous value completely. Here we have a book with a constructor. So if we go book new, it's going, and then in new we say um, whatever, uh, Robert um, Green or whatever, and then the author will be set to that. And underscore and then a writer okay so then we've got a writer and we return this dot author so if we go book dot writer and then we'll return author book dot writer um this dot author is equal to updated author updated author so the set writer is there if we console dot log lol so laugh out loud is equal to a new book by uh, an anonymous author and we console lol dot writer we get anonymous lol.writer is equal to what? console.log lol.writer is what? So we've changed the writer to there. So if we don't pass in parameters, so if we pass, if we just ask the program to read what it is, then we can get a, the, the read off of what we set the new book as the writer to be. And then if we set it, we can actually mutate the data so that the writer becomes what? So we are, <clears throat> notice the syntax we are using to invoke the getter and setter as, as if they are not even functions. Getters and setters are important because they hide internal implementation details. Note, in, in this com in, it is a convention to precede the name of a private variable with an underscore. Oh, okay. So this is a private variable and that's why it's got an underscore there. The practice itself does not make a variable private. Use class. Okay, so it's just a... I don't know. It's just a like a punctuation type thing. Use class keyword to create a thermostat class. Okay. Um, the constructor accepts Fahrenheit temperature. Now create a getter and setter in the class to obtain the temperature in Celsius scale. Remember that C is equal to 5 over 9 times uh, F minus 32. And F is equal to C times 9.0 divided by 5 plus 32. Where F is the value of the temperature in Fahrenheit scale and C is the value at the same temperature in Celsius scale. No, when you implement this, you would be tracking the temperature inside the class in one scale, either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, this is the power of getter and setter. You are creating an API for another user who would get the correct result no matter which one you track. In other words, you are abstracting implementation details from the consumer. <clears throat> this is awesome. This is some real software stuff. Thermostat should be a class. Okay, uh, I'm going to go class thermostat um, pretty sure that's right how you write it yep and then we want a constructor and inside the constructor class keyword should be used thermostat should be able to be instantiated so we want a constructor a getter should be defined, a setter should be defined, and then calling the setter should set the temperature. Do we want to be able to say constructor temp? And then we'd be like this dot temp is equal to temp. Um, and then we want to say I have a get, get uh, temperature. And then we return uh, this dot temp and then we want to make a set set temperature uh, this oh and then the temperature is and then here we would have desired temperature and then we can say this dot temp is equal to desired temperature your test output will go here let's go 
console.log temp 26. Okay, so that should be right. Now I'm just gonna run the test to see if this passes, see if I'm in the right path. Thermostat should be able to be instantiated. Hmm. Oh, const thermost is equal to new thermostat. Let's make sure I spelled that right. At 76. Oh. Thermostat at 76 temp. Temp is equal to temp. This dot author underscore author is equal to author temperature. Weird. Why would it think the thermos? Thermostat temperature. It seems to be working, but thermostat should be able to be instantiated. Here, it looks like thermos is instantiated. If I print it out, it's underscore temp. Hmm. Temperature. It's not being instantiated. Oh, we're not that in there. Oh, we're not in this. Thermostat temperature. Maybe we don't need that in there. No, we need that in there. Desired temperature temperature. I wonder if I just change all these. Do you? Does that make sense? Temperature. The thermostat should be able to be instantiated. It is instantiated. It's an object. Thermos. Thermostat temperature 26. We started off at 78. Very nice scale. Setting in Fahrenheit. Thermostat temperature. Creature center. In class, we obtain the temperature in Celsius scale. Oh, okay. So we want these guys to return the temperature in Celsius scale. So, but instead of this dot temp here, we want it to be here. That gets us in 26 in Celsius, which is what we want. Negative 3.3. Now I'm returning temperature. Thermostat temperature is 26. Hmm. Okay, so that's what it wanted. It wanted it. This should be like temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay, so I think that I'm misunderstanding this a little bit. Let's see. Remember that. Okay. Now create a getter and setter in the class to obtain the temperature in Celsius to obtain and set the temperature in Celsius, I think is what it should say. Um, desired. So this should be like, uh, get temperature in Celsius. I would, if I were writing this program, it'd be like temperature in cell, uh, temperature in Celsius. And then we'd get a negative 3.33 when the temperature was set to 26 because 26 is a few degrees below freezing. Um, and then I would say set temperature in Celsius. And then the temperature, it's set in Fahrenheit. I would translate that and then put it, I'd save it as Fahrenheit in this object. So this is a little incomplete. It's a good start on creating a thermostat class, um, but there's a bit more work to do to make it work a little bit better. Um, but for now, this pa passes the tests. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know if you think that there's anything I can do to improve these. And we'll see you in the next video.